Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to War on the Sea, a new game out by Killerfish Games, the developers of Cold Waters and Atlantic Fleet. This is episode number 5 of my Japanese Let's Play series, uh, and so far the war's going pretty well for the Japanese. We're just a couple of days into the war, but we've already wiped out two invasion con well, one invasion convoy, one cruiser convoy, uh, while also spotting an enemy carrier. Our own aircraft carrier is starting to get low on aircraft, however, so we'll probably have to pull it back to Rabaul before too long. Um, but we're sinking quite a few enemy ships, so we might actually be able to build a second carrier and send it south. We'll see, though. Uh, until that moment, we're going to go ahead and keep our carrier in the south in position as long as we can. And there is an enemy aircraft carrier somewhere out there that we might be able to engage. This was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel, so that's what you're going to hear a little bit of back and forth with me in the audience there. I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know your thoughts below, and without further ado, let's jump right in. The fighters are still around. Well, these are new fighters. Their fighters might still have some ammo. Ammo limits do exist in the game, but they're pretty liberal with the amount of ammo they get. So, like, they might have used up half their ammo. Even if they used up three quarters, it seems like it really the last little bit takes a really long time for it to run out. So, let's go ahead and get these guys. Oh, I can't time compress. Usually that means someone's getting shot at. Oh, there's some flak. A few pitter-patters of it. Not much, though. All right, so we're out of flak. Range now. Zeros are coming back. Two valves are going to turn in. Go ahead and hit the attack button on the rear enemy ship, which is the merchant ship. You can see the enemy destroyers are turning. They're going to get their broadsides in in terms of their anti-aircraft fire. We've got our two valves coming in. I don't think so. there's enough flak on these guys to really be too big of a, a worry. They could always get lucky. Nosing over. Finish these guys off, boys. Get 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 at least one 250 into it. Honestly, the 60 kilogram fragmentation bombs might be enough. I think we got at least one hit. There we go. It's sinking. Alright, so that enemy landing force is dead. They still have heavy cruisers that I guess they could sail up and bombard Guadalcanal if they wanted, but there's no airfield there, so it doesn't matter. We instantly got the sinking alert got one two three four direct hits out of a total of six bombs that's pretty damn accurate boys they could try to sink my carrier we haven't seen their their strike aircraft yet i might actually be outside of their range for their strike aircraft though we'll have to see all right so we didn't lose any aircraft in that strike we sank the last enemy merchant. I, I, yeah, I guess they could try and sink my carrier with their surface ships. All right. The question is now, where are their carriers? I hate to do this, guys, but I think I need to use you as scouts. Our zeros will also sweep out that way. We've got Betty's coming in. They're coming in slow, though. I need an update on the location of the carriers. My carriers have pulled back far enough north that I don't think the enemy cruisers are a threat. I don't even think they really know where I am. Are my destroyers in here? All right, let's pause real quick before we get into our carrier fight. These guys can carry supplies and troops, but they can't carry engineers. So let's actually go ahead and release these ships. To get me some more combat points. Let's get these destroyers up here. I'm going to set up a merchant task force with some actual cargo ships to get some engineers and fuel into Guadalcanal so we can start upgrading it. Let's figure out where their carrier is. I have no idea where it is.
think it was south of Rennell before. Where is it? I sent these Bettys all this way and they're going to go home with no, no target hit. Long ass flight, a lot of open ocean to see nothing. I don't know where their cruisers are, Newhauser. They they're probably retreating now. I'll try to get the the Nell the Bettys back there, but I don't think they're gonna get there before they run out of fuel. Scout aircraft over Guadalcanal. More scout aircraft. Oh, I think they just flew over my carrier. Yep. They know where I am now, huh? Well, that's a problem. problem is we know there's another enemy invasion task force coming up from the south. It's on the task force east. Alright, so the cruisers are still coming in. These land-based valves, I guess, will go for them. I don't like the idea of uh, sending more of my precious torpedo bombers out this way. But that might be the only way to ensure we sink these enemy cruisers. So I guess we'll do it. Wait. No. Oh. Are you close enough? Can we spot the enemy task force? There they are. All right, so these valves are out of fuel, so I ordered the uh, tactical map. All right, four valves are gonna go for the rear carrier, re rear cruiser, sorry. We'll have the Kates come up on either side of these guys. So these attacks are going to be piecemeal. Hopefully there's no enemy fighters around. Honestly, maybe we should go for the destroyers, but the cruisers are a bigger threat to my carrier if they do get in there to bombard. Well, glad you enjoyed, Darren. Yeah, I mean, streaming versus watching a VOD, is, it's a bit of a different experience. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. In comes the light flak. The 20 millimeter and 40, 40 millimeters. Dive bombers on the attack. It's like only one real good hit. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six hits. I only saw one big explosion though. So these guys, oh, we lost one of them, but these guys are out of the Shortlands, so they get new aircraft every night. It is pretty heavily aflame though. We might've gotten two 250s into it. Yeah, the bomb release animations like go right through the aircraft, Tortuga. Damn right, they, they look wonky. Alright, so the Kates are coming up. Wait, I have one lone Kate, just like, not part of a group? Okay. I'm kind of bummed. I could have gone for the carrier in the morning. Maybe that's what I should have done. 
but I wanted to focus on the enemy invasion task force. We've wiped most of that out. I wonder where this guy's going. He's breaking out of the formation. Aft to stern is more risky, Digger, and some. it seems like you get better hits coming in broadside. I mean, it depends. It kind of depends, I feel like. But yeah, I do feel like you get better hits coming in broadside, even with dive bombers. Alright, well I guess... Alright, we're coming in on the attack on two sides of the task force. The four is kind of mixing things up. Gates are coming in on the damage transport. Saving throw. Thank you for the f for the follow. So this guy should be a little more vulnerable. We're going to have to bank hard once we drop, though. I do not want to fly over the task force over here. See, they're shooting flak at us already. Low and slow coming in here. They're way out ahead of this guy. It seems like. Alright, those torpedoes actually are, at least two of them should hit. The third one looks like it went under the ship. I hate when that happens. Is a torpedo really going to go under a badly damaged cruiser? Anyway, with the bomb hits, I'm hoping that two torpedoes is enough to finish it. Like, I just went under the ship. It was like right amidship, too. All right. Second group of fours coming in on the other end of the line. Yeah, I mean, I get it if it was at the tip of the bow, but it wasn't. Anyway, we lost one aircraft on that rear task force, so we're down to eight Kates. It's kind of, that kind of sucks. Especially since that enemy carrier is still out there. Alright, second group's coming in. Heavy flak. Alright, pause. Get them, get them out of here now, boys. So... Oh, this task force lost one of their bombers already. Fuck. At least this torpedo got out. All right, let's select the lead, and let's have them pull this way. Max speed. No, we lost another fucking A. Looks like we'll get three hits here. Assuming that lead doesn't go under the bow. I think it did. Fucking A. Like, right under this turret apparently is low in the water? I don't believe it. Alright, at least this guy's going for the one heavy cruiser that's damaged. That didn't take bomb hits.
Yeah, but even if it was behind the actual torpedo, I don't think it would be off by that much. All right, so we've lost three kates in the strike. No, two kates in the strike. So that leaves us with seven if the enemy carriers come out to play. Shaggy Patrick, thanks for the follow. Meanwhile, the one lone Kate here, Kate 13, maybe we should pull it back. I don't know. But we're not going to. All right. Maybe Whippets, but I want to sink them. Heavy cruisers are a prize. Especially because they give you a fair amount of combat points, like 10+. plus. Unlucky 13, will it make it? I don't like the angle it's coming on to attack anyway, but... I'm not going to turn him while he's under fire. We'll just see what happens. Brave, 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 Sir Kate ran away. That is not a good angle. And he's going to, oh, he's going to crash into the ship. <laughs> he crashed into the ship. I don't think he did any damage to it, though. That torpedo's gonna miss. It's gonna go under the bow. Yep, just in front of the ship. Fuck. Any chance this guy sinks? Maybe if we give it some time? He took th four or five bombs and two torpedoes. Come on. Sink, 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 sink. What are you sinking about? No, you're not going to sink. You're not going to go down, huh? I don't think it's going to sink. It's not that low in the water. Thanks for the follow, Robo Smock and Killer Steve. Heavy damage on one cruiser, moderate damage on another. Yeah, I think they'd at least withdraw. Kates are going to withdraw. They survived. Five of their nine survived. The problem at this point is going to be where this other enemy task force shows up. And I don't have points for another carrier task force to come out this way. Because there are 120 points now. If either of those heavy cruisers had sunk, I could have potentially got the other Japanese carrier to come down and cover Guadalcanal, but I, I can't. Um, we're going to release these, this destroyer and this destroyer. I mean, I guess I, theoretically I could. So if we release these guys, we'll have 133 points. We go with aircraft carriers. We go the Shokaku class. We can bring the Zuikaku down with like no escort, but I could probably switch the destroyers around. These guys have the dual purposes, right? No? Not the Ishiro? Here, we'll search by DD. 
jacuzzi that these guys have. All right. So we've got enough to pull one of them. In with the carrier. Bring the carrier down to the north. And then what we'll do is we'll split the three destroyers off the Shokaku as we withdraw her back to Rabaul. And then we'll pull the carrier back lighter. Hey, coffee filter. Yagumi has radar. Doesn't the carrier, though, brass? I would, Sinister, but... I'm more concerned about destroying the enemy ships at sea than I am. Uh. Alright, I'm going to send my land-based fighters to cover the carrier. We're not spotting the enemy carrier. I don't. I mean, I suppose they could have withdrawn. Oh boy, they're gonna engage my carrier with surface action. What? Um. Okay. They should be at extreme range, so I should be able to hit them with. Oh, the Yakuza has radar, too. I didn't realize that. Hopefully they don't have any uh, attack aircraft around here. Alright, let's send our... Uh, ...vals south to find these cruisers. I know it's air radar, Brass. I think... Well, is it air radar? I don't know if the game differentiates, does it? Alright, so they must be like at extreme range. Which I'm fine with, because then I can hit them with 12 dive bombers before they come in close. We can probably finish off the rear enemy heavy. If they want to go toe to toe with. Oh shit. They're leading with her? Well, they're shooting at my carrier. Withdraw! <laughs> Get that task force out of here. Oh. I think I just saw an enemy uh, shell pass right past my. Uh... Yep, apparently they're in range. They're firing at my carrier. All right, what are we going to hit with? Oh, this is a new task force. Holy fuck, this is a different... This is a completely different task force. Where did these guys come from? Two Atlantas. A county class. Oh, fucking A. Where did these guys come from? They just spawn out of nothing? Americans are like, surprise! <laughs> surprise, motherfuckers! Bastards. Um... I mean, I guess they must have shown up some... I, I don't know where they came from, but... We're going to go with eight bombers on the lead cruiser. Well, let's go with all of them on the lead cruiser. I don't trust my bombers to take anything out. And then we'll instantly pull the carriers back. 
Why are you guys, like, sitting? I thought I told the task force to turn. But apparently not. Get out of there, boys. Crank up the speed. Alright, I'm just gonna try to knock out one of the enemy heavy cruisers. Well, attacking one. No, I don't know. It's one of the American heavies. First two groups of valves are coming in. The last four haven't yet begun their attack. Good hits all along the ship there. Second group may, might actually be enough to finish them off. That's a lot of hits. Alright, that lead group of Vals. Let's switch our targets here. I don't think we can take out a cruiser just with those four, but let's go for that lead destroyer. Coastal watchers are in-game, but not not uh not radio intelligence as far as I'm aware. Sometimes you spot ships randomly, but usually when they're around your bases. So I'm assuming that has to do with like coastal watchers. How did that smoke go all the way over to the right? Yeah, we got that cruiser. Hell yeah, boys. That smoke cloud doesn't make a lot of sense, just gonna say. Lost two valves in that lead attack. We sank an enemy heavy cruiser, she's rolling over. Just damaged an enemy destroyer pretty badly. Three hits there on that, that lead, that other destroyer. Oh, you're going in circles, aren't you? Don't do that. We gotta wait three minutes to try and escape. I think we're far enough out that they can't really hurt us too badly with their guns. They've been firing at us, but like at extreme range. Oh shit, I say that and just as I see that, I see my destroyer take a hit. It was a pretty nice hit there. Pretty A nice, nice big explosion on this DD. Minor damage, it says. Minor flooding. I could slow down to reduce the risk of damage. How far out are these guys? 23,000 yards? That's a hell of a hit. Not while you're in the battle, Coffee. We did get that other enemy ship here. That, that enemy destroyer with eight five-inch guns is going down. That's a nice surface action destroyer with that many guns. So I'm glad we got it. A heavy cruiser and a destroyer are sunk. That's why you don't put your carrier in the slot. Whatever, Sean Mac. Whatever. We're gonna get out, okay? I'm not too worried about American torpedoes bottles, but yeah. That's why you don't attack a carrier. Because we sink your heavy shit. I would have loved to have gone for the Atlantas at the rear of the column. They've got two of them. We've already sunk one of the Atlantas. I think there's, what, six total? No, see, see Adorn, I've got to leave the battle and then come back in. Scootagum, thank you very much for the follow. Six months in advance at tier three. Wow. Generous, sir. Or madam. An elite flare 762. Thank you for the follow. Ice Rex, thanks for the follow.
the dive bombers you got to watch out for? The, uh, the American dive bombers, yes. If you're playing as the Americans, you got to watch out for the... Uh, the Japanese torpedo bombers. <laughs> nice coffee. I agree. Here's a question. Were the American torpedo bomber torpedoes, which were a variant of the Mark 14, were they worse than the Mark 14 itself? And I asked that because didn't they have a tendency to break up upon impact with the ocean? At least in theory, the Mark 14 on the subs didn't have that have that problem. Also, like the Devastators were like they flew super slow. Which, like, all the torpedo bombers kind of did, but, like, the Devastator was not by the time World War II was around. They improved them quicker than the Mark 14 Neuhauser. Okay, fair point. Fair point. Could they realistically be worse? Sure, Darren. They could. That, you know, anytime my wife, or anyone really, is ever like, oh my god, this is so bad, my general reaction is to say, well, it could always be worse. Something could always be worse. A feather, thanks for the follow. Like, you know, you could have your arms and one of your arms and two of your legs chopped off and uh, that would be bad. But you know what? You could have that happen and then you could fall, fall into some molten lava from a volcano. That may be worse. Just waiting so I can get out of this fight, by the way. Uh, so that destroyer took one hit. I think that's the only hit they've scored on us so far. Yeah. So just the one long range shell hit us. <laughs> but then you'd turn into Darth Vader. I'm glad you got that, Xeno. Is that, would that be worse, though? Is it good to be Darth Vader? All right, 10 seconds from escaping from this fight. I guess, theoretically, we're running away toward toward uh, an island. All right, we can leave now. So there you go. We sank a heavy cruiser and a destroyer. 14 more command points gained. To that effect, let's get another one of those destroyers. Which one did you say? The Yugumo had air surface radar? Or air search radar? Or surface search? I don't, I don't remember. So we are building a new aircraft carrier task force in the north here that we will move south. We are also going to pull our own aircraft carriers in the south north once we're able to get those, uh, those reinforcements into position so then we can replenish the air wing on our carrier in the south. Uh, but this seems like a normal place to stop. We were building out this task force, uh, the Azuki, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, class destroyers here, not the Yugumo, which you're looking at right now, is what we're going to go with the most modern uh, anti-aircraft destroyers. Uh, but this actually is a point where Twitch had a problem and, and, and the stream kept dropping and I couldn't resume it. So this is where we ended the stream. And it seems like as good a spot as any to wrap this episode up, we did have that enemy surface task force engage our carrier. We managed to sink another enemy heavy cruiser and a destroyer. One of our destroyers took a single 8-inch enemy shell hit. But overall, we escaped out of there pretty effectively. Thankfully, we were able to engage the enemy at incredibly long range. If they had been able to close the range on us, it would have been a different story. But fortunately for us, they were not able to do that. So that's where we're going to pick things up next time. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer, as always, saying thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.